Hey everybody, Bob here from Infocon, and today we're going to show you how to get started with your new DTAC-3 refrigerant leak detector. Inside the carrying case, you'll find a quick start guide in multiple languages, spare filters, an AC wall charger with multiple blades for use in different regions, and a micro USB cable. The infrared sensor and battery are already installed. You should charge your DTEC-3 before its first use, although you can also use it while it's charging. The power indicator slowly flashes to tell you DTEC-3 is charging and changes color to indicate the current charge percentage, both while charging and during normal operation. A full charge takes less than three hours. To turn DTEC-3 on, long press the power button. DTEC-3 will go through a quick warm-up for 45 to 90 seconds. When the warm-up is complete, DTEC-3 will beep steadily and is ready for use. The volume button on the right side toggles volume from 100% to 50% to mute. With headphones plugged in, the volume button toggles the mute feature. DTEC-3 has two operating modes, pinpoint and manual zero. Press the mode button to toggle between modes. You'll know you're in manual zero mode when the mode indicator flashes steadily. DTEC-3 always starts up in the last mode that was used. Pinpoint mode automatically zeroes to the background after alarming for a short time, allowing you to search for higher levels of refrigerant. If you have used a DTEC Select, you are already familiar with how this works. Place the tip of DTEC-3 as close as possible to the suspected leak. Be careful not to block the airflow as this can cause false alarms. Slowly move the probe past each possible leak point. If a leak is detected, DTEC-3 will alarm and the leak indicators will illuminate. The alarm will likely stop after a couple seconds. That's okay. It's the leak detector zeroing to the new background. Pull the probe away from the leak for a few seconds and return it to the suspected leak site to verify the leak. Pinpoint mode has four sensitivity settings. Low, medium, high, and super. While super is the most sensitive, it may not always be the best for your application. For large leaks, a lower sensitivity setting may work best. Toggle between sensitivities by pressing the Sense Zero button. Manual Zero mode operates in a similar way to pinpoint mode, except it will only zero to the background refrigerant when you press the Sense Zero button. While in Manual Zero mode, the idle beep rate is faster and increases or decreases with changes in the background concentration. This means that if the beeping quickens, you're closer to the leak. If the beeping slows, you're further away. Zeroing DTEC-3 sets a new baseline, so DTEC-3 will not alarm on a smaller leak size. This can be useful when you have more than one leak and you'd like to identify which leak is larger. The ability to manually zero together with variable beep rates can be helpful for finding leaks in a high background environment. Note that there is no sensitivity setting in manual zero mode. Long press the power button to turn DTEC-3 off. A filter is pre-installed in DTEC-3's probe tip. Unscrew the probe tip cap to check the filter. If the filter looks dirty, gets wet, or clogged, replace and discard the old filter. When a filter is only wet, it can be reused once it dries. Insert the new filter into the probe tip and screw on the probe tip cap. The optional extra long probe can be used for those hard to reach places. To install the extra long probe, unscrew the original probe using a 10 mm wrench. Screw the extra long probe on and torque to about 35 inch pounds or 4 newton meters. Torque doesn't have to be exact, just make sure you don't over tighten it. Finally, Make sure you have a filter and probe cap installed on the extra long probe before turning DTEC-3 on. An optional needle probe will be available soon for leak checking in insulation and tight spaces. Changing sensors with DTEC-3 is simple. This makes switching to the optional CO2 sensor quick and easy. To remove the sensor, press the eject button and remove the battery door. Hold the sensor release tab and gently pull the sensor out. 
To install the new sensor, line the sensor up with the rails and gently push the sensor into place. It should slide easily, so don't force it. DTEK3 will automatically sense if you have inserted a different sensor type, like the CO2 sensor. The mode indicator will change color to indicate the sensor type that's installed. Orange indicates the standard refrigerant sensor, and green indicates the CO2 sensor. To remove the battery, start by removing the battery door. Move the battery release tab to the side until the battery begins to eject, then slide the battery out. Align the new battery with the rails and gently push the battery into place until the battery release tab engages. An external battery charging cradle is available as an accessory. This gives you another way to charge your battery or to have an extra battery ready to go. Infocon has a worldwide sales and service network, so no matter where you are, we can help. Contact us if you need any help with your new DTEK3 or any other Infocon products.